Um, so it's super late, and it's taken me forever to convince myself to make this video, and I'm probably going to upload it uncut, um, unedited, because I don't really want to go through this twice, <laughs> or more than twice, because um, cutting takes a while. Um, but I, I promised myself and I promised you guys that today I was going to let you know where I've been and why I've been sort of absent from keeping up with my vlog challenge and keeping up with my workouts and kind of uh, off, off the grid. Um, and, you know, part of it was that my parents were here and I was a little bit busy with the road trip and, and showing them around and, and sort of just being with present with them. But that was really very little of it. Um, while my parents were here, a lot of things happened kind of all at the same time. And I kind of freaked out and didn't know how to deal with any of them and haven't in a lot of ways dealt with some of them. Um, okay, let's start with the, the, the bad one. Um, a really good friend of mine passed away in an accident. She was on vacation with her boss, and she was only 28, and um, I'm not going to talk about who it is or what happened more than that, um, but it, that was really, that was, that has been really hard for me every time I think about it. Um, I, I just can't completely understand it or deal with it, and it makes me very angry and very upset and very sad. Um, she was one of the first people in LA and in the business that, that I work in that believed in me, that believed that I had talent and that was a friend and was fun and was a human being to me. And uh, I started to get really close to her I started to get really close to her last year and over the course of a, a while and we started working on stuff together and then she got really busy and I didn't talk to her for a really long time and I was actually just thinking about reaching back out and there's no one to reach out to. Um... So that made it really difficult for me to talk about anything because I really wanted, I really wanted to talk about it with, with people. Um, I really wanted to talk about it, but I've also really wanted to not talk about it at all. And so, and so since I, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it, it puts me in a position where I don't want to talk about anything. Uh, and it made it really hard for me to make any sort of vlog about any other topic. Um, and I, and then I haven't had time to really sort of deal with, with it. <laughs> um, and I, so yeah, that, that happened and I had to keep face for my parents and I had to stay on this sort of road trip vacation and I had to... Um, and I had to sort of pound my face with donuts and not care about working out and not care about vlogging and not care about anything and in order to like put on a smiling face and get through the rest of the weekend. So that's part of what happened and that's why I stopped vlogging. Um, and if that, if all of that wasn't sort of emotional shit to deal with enough... Um, I also got a really exciting opportunity to do something new on the same day, which, which would be great if it wasn't for the fact that it would mean that I would need to stop, or, or not completely stop probably, but pull back my involvement and, and my participation in Taste It and in Cinefix, and that's some, I've put in two years of, two and a half years of really hard work into like growing those channels and dedicating myself 
to the to the people and the communities on those channels and to the shows that I write and and I produce and to the people there and to the rest of my team and <sighs> but the opportunity is really cool and really exciting and hopefully I'll be able to stay on part time if some capacity if I take it I don't know I just don't know um so anyway easiest way to put it is it's been an extremely emotional week and a half for a lot of for both of those reasons and my parents being here um and I and I was scared I was scared to talk about it uh, I was scared to get on the internet and talk about it because I don't know what to say about any of those things. Um, and I kind of stopped taking care of myself for that week. I, I stopped, which is, a, which is terrible because part of what I learned is that despite all of life, you know, you still need to take care of yourself. But I, I kind of froze and panicked. Um... And then this week, I, I started ramping back up again. You know, I've been to the gym three to four times this week. I'm back on the diet. I'm being pretty good. Um, I just am starting to emotionally deal with these things. And so I'm ready to talk to you guys about it again. And I'm ready to get back in the gym. Uh, I'm probably going to reboot and start superhero training from scratch again. Because I think I kind of flopped it. But... That's what's been going on. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for, for sticking around. Um, I promise that I will get back to vlogging. I know that I really, there's a couple of things I really want to do that you guys have asked for, including like daily meals and a couple of recipes and uh, gym alternatives to some of the home workouts um, that I really want to show you and that Steve's down to do with me. So. Uh, I'm going to get back on track, continue my vlog challenge. Thank you guys. Um, that's it. I'm not going to cut this. So if you've watched this far, sorry for all the shaky cam and the weird things that happened when I got my hand got tired and I switched hands and I, I usually edit those out, but uh, oops. Good night. Thank you.